Hi friends, welcome back. So friends, our week's video is McDonald's India vs Pakistan, which is best? Flew to both. अरे वाह तो दोनों जगह जाके देखा है देखे भाई इंडिया के मैकडोनल्ड मैंने तो ट्राई किया पर बहुत टाइम हो गया जब लास्ट विजिट में गई थी तब खाया था तो अब तो बहुत चेंजेस आ गए मैं तो कहूंगा इंडिया वर्सेस यूएस के मैकडोनल्ड में से इंडिया का बेटर है हाँ मुझे भी यही फील हुआ था अगर आप इंडिया और यूएस यूएस का जो है यहाँ पे बहुत ही कॉमन चीज है वहां पे जो है क्वालिटी मेरे को बहुत अच्छी लगी और वेजिटेरियन वेजिटेरियन क्योंकि यहाँ पे जाते हैं तो गिनी चुनी चीजें आपको मिलती है मैकडोनल्ड में इंडिया में जब मैं गया था बहुत समय पहले मैं इम्प्रेस हो गया था भाई कि क्या जबरदस्त आप चीजें ऑफ कोर्स जो लोग वहां रहते हैं शायद वो ये बोल सकते हैं कि हम तो बोर हो गए बट मेरे को बड़ा मजा आया था कि मैकडोनल्ड में जो सामान मिल रहा है आलू टिक्की बर्गर था मुझे याद है अभी तक हम इतने और इतना अच्छा यूएस में आपको वो चीजें नहीं मिलती हैं इंडिया में जब मिली थी मेरे को कहा था जबरदस्त अगर यही काम यूएस में कर दें तो मजा आएगा अगर वो करेंगे नहीं क्योंकि वो अपने डेमोग्राफी को देख रहे हैं पर इंडिया में वराइटी बहुत अच्छी थी और हम वो तब मेरे ख्याल से नया नए मैकडोनल्ड जब शुरू हुए थे तब हमने ट्राई किया और कितनी भीड़ होती थी इतना रश होता था कि बैठने की जगह नहीं होती यहाँ पे मैकडोनल्ड खाली पड़े खाली पड़े होते हैं बिल्कुल ठीक बोला तो चलो अब देखते हैं हम इंडिया और पाकिस्तान का तो वीडियो शुरू करते हैं पर वीडियो शुरू करने से पहले अगर आप चैनल पर नए हो और आपने अभी तक सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया तो जल्दी से पहले सब्सक्राइब के बटन और बेल आइकन को क्लिक कर लो ताकि आपको हमारे सारे न्यू वीडियोस के नोटिफिकेशन मिल जाए जैसे हम अपलोड करें अगर आपको वीडियो पसंद आता है प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड हमारा दूसरा चैनल ट्विटर इंस्टाग्राम अकाउंट सबके डिटेल्स है डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में उनको भी सब्सक्राइब और फॉलो कर लेना चलिए शुरू करते हैं नमस्ते दोस्तों Like so McDonald's, yeah. so and they change the flavors. So when I go there, it tastes nothing the like the original. You go in there for that authentic American oh. experience, oh, no. and it's nothing American like it. So let's go China. eat at McDonald's <laughs> here in India mm-hmm. and in Pakistan, and see which is the most authentic. So you can compare U.S. and America. Compare them. Money, 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 money. Okay, so it's been a horrible start. I got here, the drinks machine isn't working. There's no chocolate shake here. There's mosquitoes everywhere. I'm trying not to get dengue. And fourthly, they're charging for ketchup now. A girl put two ketchup sachets on my receipt, and I had to ask her to take it off because. I don't want it, right? They're charging two rupees per sachet, and I think this is a good thing actually because it stops people wasting this. And I still got free ketchup anyway on my tray. So be careful; they are charging more for ketchup. If you don't want it, they shouldn't be adding it to people's receipts automatically like that. That is just wrong. And this is something you will see in India. Even at McDonald's, they will try to add things to your receipt that you have not ordered. Now, unsurprisingly, the McDonald's menu is completely different here in India, and it's mainly because there's no beef products and no pork products sold here. And they don't actually give a beef alternative like Burger King does. Burger King sells the mutton Whopper, but unfortunately, the mutton just tastes like rubber. It's really bad. So McDonald's here just does chicken when it comes to meat. And I don't know why they've outlawed pork products here. I'm guessing it's because they don't want to annoy Muslims. But at the same time, I've never seen them trying to get pork banned here in India and protesting. But there is no pork ban in India. Pork is completely legal here. And I think the exclusion of pork and beef at McDonald's in Pakistan and India really shows the similarities between the countries, because both these bans, the pork and the beef ban, are based on religion, right? But in reality, you can get beef in a number of states in India, and you can get pork here in Pakistan, especially at like Chinese stores. And on my way here, I was in Dubai, and there they're very tolerant. They have a, a pork room, literally pork room, in their supermarkets for non-Muslims. So pretty cool. You can eat whatever you want there. So you don't find. The burgers, which McDonald's are most famous for, then they have a bunch of kind of Indian-inspired burgers. Instead of chicken, instead of beef, you can get a potato burger or an egg burger or an Indian cheese burger, which is called paneer. But we're here to see how different it is from the U.S. and yeah, quite different. Very few of the products are available here. Here in Pakistan, and straight away, it's already an entirely another world here. Yeah. McDonald's like this is modern McDonald's. Everything is here. 
breakfast menu, specialty burgers. The milkshake machine is working. One thing wasn't working, the credit card machine isn't working here and that's pretty common here in Pakistan. The, the 4G network goes down all the time. They've got the Mick Cafe here and of course they have McDonald's most famous burger, the Big Mac. And my favorite, the quarter pounder or just the normal cheeseburger. And they've got one strange thing on the menu. They have crispy fried chicken. Now, I've never seen this at a McDonald's before, so let's try McDonald's fried chicken as well. And there's also no breakfast options here. It hasn't quite caught on. There might be in the South Indian stores, I don't know. The North Indian stores are quite different to the South Indian stores. The North Indian stores have been neglected for so many years by the master franchise holder. So much so that McDonald's has brought the franchise back from that guy. And now they're running these stores themselves in India. There was such a big fight that the stores in Delhi were closed for six months last year. Imagine that, every McDonald's store in Delhi closed for six months last year. So yeah, there's been some mismanagement of McDonald's, I think, and I hope McDonald's US is gonna get this chain back on track. So I can already tell you now, this experience is much closer to the US and to New Zealand. This is the authentic modern McDonald's experience. Hello. Thank you so much. Bilkul. Fried chicken? Oh yeah, take it. Shukra. All right, food's here. And there's also tons of friendly staff here. There's actually a concierge who helps everybody with their orders and using the automated machine. So you can order your food for a machine. You don't actually go and see the cashier. So you've got Big Mac, McChicken, fries, and fried chicken. I'm Eko Straw DJ. Yeah, well, I like Karabe. Mmm. Islamabad. Me Mari Jonga. Me. Me Kashmir Jonga. Iskebab. Hmm? Iskebab. Abi Nay. Shayad. Shayad Me Jonga. It's an awesome place and you have to go there. That is called Mother of the Mountain. Ah, uh, uh, it's, it's an awesome place, yeah. Thank you. Take a major on the bill. Basically, I'm from there. Acha, acha. I'm in Abtabad and this little beautiful Pakistani hill station. So let's get into the food now. Instead of the Big Mac, we have the Maharaja Mac, which is a Big Mac clone, except it's got a chicken patty, and I think they added a bit of chili to that typical Big Mac sauce that we all know. Then we've got the McChicken sandwich. I hope this is the same as the US, let's find out. And of course, the fries. I was gonna get the chocolate shake too, but even the machine's broken. The, the shake machines are always broken at McDonald's, no matter where you are in the world. So you've got Big Mac, McChicken, fries, and fried chicken. And so we've got the fries now, I can tell you right now. The fries came out for my plate. Not only cold, but wet. How do they get wet? Never had wet fries before. Usually the fries taste the same as the US. Usually they're really kind of like crispy and crunchy and barely any potato in the middle, more like just fat. That's why they taste so good. But here, they're not fried enough. See, look, it's just like, it's like that. They're usually quite crisp, like, the, like this one. Anyway, the fries suck. Usually they're okay. They've just done a bad job at frying them here at the store. Fries, just like home. Oh, not so good. They're crispy and they also serve curly fries here in Pakistan. Oh, and here in Pakistan, they have chicken instead of bacon. So you can get chicken bacon here. And the chicken was good, right? I, I finished it. It doesn't taste like KFC. It doesn't taste like chicken nuggets. It doesn't have much flavor actually. It's kind of like, it just tastes like deep fried chicken, except honestly, it's a bit flavorless to be honest. There was not much pepper, not much salt. Yeah, I can just call it flavorless. Nothing special, you can skip it. The shake on the other hand, oh my God, I only have a shake. The shake is thick as hell and it actually broke this straw. That's how you know it's like a real thick shake. Just like New Zealand, just like the US. Now let's try this McChicken sandwich. They call it classic, so I'm guessing they're meaning it's the same as the US. It's a classic. And yeah, it looks exactly the same. Exactly the same. Whoa, tons of mayo in there. Fresh lettuce, and then you've got the chicken patty as well. Looks good. Mm. 
Yum. So the McChicken is actually really good and it tastes authentic. It tastes like what I remember in the US and in New Zealand. So what? Wow, good job on this burger. It's the same. All right, we got the McChicken here and it's got the tempura batter. This is how the American and the New Zealand McDonald's burger is meant to be. All right, taste is the same, but the bun is stale. It's a stale, stale bun, so yeah, no good. I leave the chicken. I just leave the bun and eat the chicken, I think. Oh no, it's the chicken, which is a bit stale and tough as well. So, so the flavor is there, but the quality of the product, stale bun, stale chicken was not good here in Pakistan. In Pakistan, I love this. They also have chili garlic sauce as well as ketchup. But the chili garlic sauce is awesome. And we're not going to try those kind of overly spicy vegetarian burgers at McDonald's house here simply because I don't like them. I prefer to come here and this is the burger I quite like. The Indian version of the Big Mac. It's called the Chicken Maharaja. And as you can see, it is rather big. So big that they have to, <laughs> so big that they have to kind of wrap this, I don't know what you call this, in New Zealand we call it like, I don't know what you call that, got to wrap this ring around it. Now look at that, it looks good right? You've got the chicken patty in there, then below that you've got jalapenos. <laughs> and it's kind of like a spicy thousand item sauce something like that it's not the exact big mac sauce they've spiced it up a bit definitely with some chili in there and you've got the fresh lettuce as well so this is kind of classic mcdonald's except indian version of the big mac and this is what i usually order when i'm here it's freaking humongous just like a big mac should be oh. <laughs> the first thing you get is that massive hit of chili when you bite into it and the sauce all over your face as well and so they've added the jalapenos because this is India they've added the chili to the sauce because this is India these US chains of fast food restaurants come and open in India and they just spice everything up enough is burning right now from this burger same with KFC I've done that in another video they literally don't sell the original herbs and spices recipe here. They just sell like a chili bomb kind of chili version of KFC. Bomb. Now this is what I wanted for so long. I wanted a Big Mac. A classic old school Big Mac. Wow. Look at that. If you don't know what a Big Mac is people, two pieces of beef, some cheese, lettuce and there is a special Big Mac sauce somewhere down the bottom. And it's just it's suka, suka it's a great burger. Suka. The bun, the lettuce, the cheese, right. it's all the same as overseas. Oh, and how could I forget? It's got pickles in it too. Yeah, the combination of the pickles and the sauce is just, just yum. You don't need to make it into a chili bomb like the chicken maharaj. It's not needed. India could have remade the Big Mac with lamb, with mutton, or even better, with buffalo. Buffalo tastes exactly the same as beef. They could have done that in India. I'm washing it all down with this chocolate milkshake. Man, I really love milkshakes. Always love them. I don't drink, I don't smoke, but I love chocolate and I love milkshakes. And so while I really love the Big Mac and beef, this chicken Maharaja is a really good substitute here in India. Maybe they should have it in the US stores. Maybe they should do a special kind of India kind of promotion and have this burger there. If you like something spicy, this is a spicy burger for you. Now to the meat quality, which I usually have a problem with here in India, but McDonald's is okay. The McChicken is chicken breast, I can see that. And the Maharaja is, mm, it's kind of like ground up chicken, ground up chicken bones, and then they kind of make it into a, into a chicken patty. So it's definitely not breast. It's more like kind of chicken nugget fillings. Oh, and you do get chicken nuggets here in India. That's the other thing that is the same as the US and the Indian menu. And they taste exactly the same as well. So the meat quality that I've had here today is, is just okay. It's not up to the standards of New Zealand, which I think New Zealand McDonald's has incredible meat. It's, you know, on the similar level to India. 
But I can say in general in Pakistan, the meat is better quality here. Because they have a big meat eating culture, right? But then on the other hand, vegetarian food is very, very hard to come by. So India wins on vegetarian meals, Pakistan wins on meat quality and meat meals. So McDonald's India is doing an okay job actually, like quite good. And the prices, prices are extremely reasonable as well, much cheaper than back home in New Zealand. When it comes to price, McDonald's in Pakistan roughly costs 20% more than in India. And for that 20% more, you definitely get a better experience and slightly better quality and you know, definitely authentic tasting McDonald's food. So that small price bump is totally, totally worth it. And still cheap compared to the rest of the world. So McDonald's in India is wildly inauthentic. They have basically spiced up everything except the chicken nuggets, the fries, and the McChicken. Actually, the fries, you can spice them up. There is a peri-peri rub you can kind of shake in a bag with them here. So they have spiced up everything for what they think is Indian palates. I would prefer to see more of the authentic McDonald's here in India. When I come to an American fast food chain, that's what I want, right? I want to eat an authentic American meal. But anyway, they're doing what they can do without beef and without using pork. So I think it's okay here in India. So those so which McDonald's do you want to eat at? Do you want to have the authentic experience here in Pakistan? Or do you want the inauthentic experience in India? Because maybe you want to try some vegetarian stuff or simply just something totally different like the chicken Maharaja. So, it was fun to see both India and Pakistan. And we were also comparing it with the USA. As we were comparing it with New Zealand, we were also comparing it with the USA. The side of it was the fact that it was like that it was like American or New Zealand, it was like that it was like McDonald's. हमारा लुक बिल्कुल डिफरेंट है भैया हमें चाहिए इंडियन टच वाला भी हम इंडिया जाए तो हमें वो मिले हमें वो ज्यादा पसंद आया था तो मेरे ख्याल से ये डिफरेंस इसलिए है क्योंकि इन्होंने ये पैदा हुए हैं न्यूजीलैंड में उनका टेस्ट वैसा है जैसे यहाँ अमेरिकन को भी मिर्च मसाले वाली चीजें स्वाद नहीं लगती और हम जब मिर्च मसाले बगैर चीजें देखते हैं क्या गंदा फुक्का खाना है कोई स्वाद नहीं है तो इसलिए वो कंपेरिजन करना वो अपने टेस्ट बस से कंपेरिजन कर रहे हैं हम करते हैं अपने इंडियन टेस्ट बट से और हमें ये चीजें बेकार लगती है जैसे हम बोलते हैं ना कि यूएसए का मैकडोनल्ड के तो खाने बेकार है भैया इंडिया का बहुत अच्छा है इनका वो दूसरा आउटलुक था तो भाई हमें तो इंडियन वाला ही अच्छा लगता है और हमको तो कहेंगे भाई चेंज करके अमेरिकन मत करना बिल्कुल भी मत करना और करेंगे भी नहीं क्योंकि हमारा जैसे हमारा टेस्ट है सब इंडियंस का वही टेस्ट है मेजोरिटी वो है तो उनको सेटिस्फाई करने के लिए मैकडोनल्ड्स आया है और जैसे टूरिस्ट है कितने टूरिस्ट होंगे पूरे इंडिया में उसके लिए उनको टेस्ट कर अमेरिकन टेस्ट करेंगे तो नहीं चलेगा क्योंकि हम बता रहे हमें पसंद नहीं आता है और जब हमने इंडिया में ट्रेस्ट किया था हमें बहुत ही अच्छा लगा था और दूसरी बात देख के थोड़ा डिफरेंस लग रहा था कि इंडिया का मैकडोनल्ड इतना मतलब देखने में वो अच्छा नहीं बना हुआ था वो पूरा लुक भी इन्होंने पूरी दी नहीं छोटा सा लग रहा था तो ये भी डिपेंड करता है कि आप कहा दिल्ली में इतना स्पेस है नहीं तो नहीं और बाद में बनी है तो हो सकता है हम लोग गए थे जहां तक मुझे पता है कनॉट प्लेस के मैकडोनल्ड में और वो साफ नहीं था मुझे तो यार तो मैं तो ये कहूंगा कि इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर अच्छा होना चाहिए चाहे छोटा हो कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता आपका छोटी जगह है उसकी प्रॉब्लम नहीं है मगर बहुत जबरदस्त साफ सुथरा होना चाहिए और बहुत वेल मेंटेन्ड होना चाहिए आप तो अगर बैठे हैं तो अच्छा फील होना एयर कंडीशनिंग अच्छी होनी चाहिए वॉल्स क्लीन होनी चाहिए एक भी मक्खी मच्छर नहीं होना चाहिए क्लीन जबरदस्त होना चाहिए और जो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बैठ होना चाहिए वो बहुत जरूरी बात क्योंकि है। पाकिस्तान वाला जो था वो एट पार लग रहा था साइज का फर्क नहीं पड़ता आप छोटा कर लीजिए सुंदर मतलब भी था अंदर से कितना सुंदर भी होना चाहिए देखने के सुंदर लग तो ये मेरे ख्याल से इंडिया को इंप्रूव करना है खाने में मैं कहूंगा कि मुझे इंडिया के मैकडोनल्ड बेटर लगता है कम्पेयर टू यूएस यूएस का मैकडोनल्ड ब्लैंड है उसमें कोई टेस्ट नहीं है मतलब इंडियन के हिसाब से कोई टेस्ट नहीं है इंडिया वाले में मसाले हैं उसमें लगता है कि या ये जबरदस्त बात है तो अगर हम मैकडोनल्ड से लेके भी आते हैं कई बार अपने मसाले डाल देते हैं उसके ऊपर और अच्छा कर देते हैं तो जो भी है मैं यही कहूंगा हर एक का अपना टेस्ट, टेस्ट है, है मगर मुझे इतना फर्क नहीं पड़ता कि इनको टेस्ट क्या लगा मुझे ये फर्क पड़ा कि इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इंडिया का बेटर होना चाहिए तो उनको बोलना चाहिए था कि एयर कंडीशनिंग बहुत अच्छी है बहुत साफ टेबल्स हैं कोई मक मक्खी मच्छर नहीं है पूरा जबरदस्त क्लीन है बहुत ही पोलाइट हैं लोग बहुत वो डेफिनेटली उसमें आना चाहिए था चलो कोई नहीं 
हम भी जाएंगे जब इंडिया तो हम भी टेस्ट करेंगे right. और होपफुली हमारा एक्सपीरियंस अच्छा होगा पर इंडिया में रश भी बहुत होता है मुझे याद है कोई बात नहीं आपका रश हो आप सर आपको रखिए बैठने की जगह नहीं अगर आपका रश है अपना पैसा बना रहे हैं तो आप इन्वेस्ट करिए और इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर को आप बढ़िया करिए क्यों मुझे याद है जब हम एक बार गए थे वहां पे बैठने की भी जगह नहीं थी खड़े थे कि कोई सीट से उठे तो जगह मिले इतना रश था मुझे ये याद है पर फिर भी क्राउड था पीपल वर क्रेजी की तरह वहां पे जाके खाना खा रहे थे पर एनी मुझे तो अपना वो आलू वाला जो है बर्गर का हमेशा याद आता है तो चलो फ्रेंड्स चलते हैं मिलेंगे नेक्स्ट वीडियो में बहुत ही जल्द टिल देन टेक केयर एंड बाय तो अगर आप मेरे इस चैनल पे नए हो तो जल्दी से सब्सक्राइब के बटन को हिट करो और बेल आइकन को क्लिक करो ताकि आपको मेरा जब नया वीडियो में लगाऊं आपको उसके बारे में जल्दी से पता चल जाए